Hello, Fimey. Hello, everybody. Hello, Noalias. I'm not learning Blood Bowl. Um, I'm playing it, though. We've got Perfect Defense. Well, I'm not playing it, actually. I don't know why I'm playing it. I'm watching it. It's Bringer 11 versus Tachyon Speed. And we've got Undead versus Burtz. Um, it's a rather pathetic little Burt team versus... Uh, rather pathetic little undead team. <laughs> He's got a decent girl, but only one. So, like, this girl's got to do everything. Um, I mean, obviously, not the only girl, but, like, you know, he's got guard and movement and sure and so, like, he's got, he does everything on this one girl. And he's got a couple of block mummies, which is fine, isn't it? But it's just not, not that good. Is it rookie, mighty blow, dodge, some guard? It's, uh, yeah. Not the. Not the best, uh, not the best thing in the world. So much better than Blood Bowl, yeah. And I, honestly, Minecraft, it, even just mining, like, even the mining, um, like, completely mindless mining is, like, so relaxing. It's brilliant. Obviously, not the best stream, but, um, you know, I. Eventually, I'll start making all the crazy redstone contraptions and stuff, and uh, and then I guess I can make like better videos. I can make videos then, can Has he got a player called Small Tato? Small Tato, pretty good. So there you go, do some blocks. That's maybe a little too weak over here. And indeed he is going for it. <laughs> nice jackpot. <laughs> Glorious. That's awesome finally. That's awesome. I wish I, I wish my dad had done that when I was thirteen. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> mm. Yeah, five in the morning. Yeah, yeah. He's got to, You know, you've got to fit it in when you can, haven't you? Brilliant. I'm surprised he didn't make more of a move down the side. Instead, he's just exposed the tackle. Not what I would have done. Um, I think you hit and pull back right, and then push through with somebody else. Rather than the mighty blow tackler, but I guess he hasn't got anyone else to push forward because this guy like he's only got three good blitzers. Well, I guess this guy's all right. He's not really, is he? It's just the ball carrier. So I guess he hasn't really got any expendable blitzers, which is the problem that we saw with. Was it Sindane the other day where he just ran a guy through just to sacrifice? Yeah, it was, and he just got hit with a wolf and he was gone. Like you don't, you've got to really protect your blitzers because they're the only good players. Um, so yeah, he did get exposed. Did leave him exposed. He does get banged, and he gets banged out. Predic entirely predictable. Imagine if this guy had been the one exposed, and then I guess this this dodge wouldn't have failed. But still. So there you go. He's using the the zombie, the zombies, guards, mummies. Skeletons, mummies as cage corners, which I hate, and all the guys on the internet tell you to use the mummies as the cage, and it just seems so dumb to me. Um, but there you go. <laughs> We've got the mummies as the cage corners. And, uh, gonna put a blood stepper on the cage. Hello, Dietrich, not bad, thanks. Um, I guess he's gonna, gonna go all out for the ball here, right? Tag, tag the mummies with. Zombie, not zombies. Peasants. Going, he's got all these people behind the ball though. Like too many behind the ball. Right, look, he's behind the ball. Three are behind the ball here. We'll put the blood stepper on. Dude, just let him kill a fucking peasant. You know, <laughs> just let him kill peasants. That's uh. So what's better here is obviously to put... If you're going to do this move, you tag this guy, you put peasants there and there, and then you put the blood stepper here, right? So it takes two characters to, to deal with him. And he doesn't get mighty blowed in the face. 
I, that's awesome for him, mate. Like, it's awesome for the kid, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm sorry, but like, he might. He might it's. I wish. I wish it had happened to me. Instead of just being a fucking dosser. <laughs> oh, Pedro. Like, okay, the kid might want to just not do that, but still. Might not want to do it now, but it, it's it's fucking. Amazing. Another bang out. And real, real lack of guard. Real lack of guard on the uh, undeads here. I wish he'd. I wish I'd. I wish he'd made me do weightlifting. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm saying Jack Bull is making his son do it, of course, but like, you know, encouraged, shall we say. So this is a dodge out here, isn't it, to get around? And we've got an instant 2D. You didn't have to do the extra dodge, did you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, maybe you did. Get to the pal. So he didn't really he didn't I don't think he attacked the cage as well as he could have done but um he still got the uh, got the ball but he might have been space cadetted because he's already down two players and now he's getting whacked Got to re-roll that. Get to the power. Four and a half hours, Steve. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Hello, old belly. <laughs> Awfully. Oh, well. Don't worry about it. No one will, no one will know. I'm not an I'm not an Artemis. Oh god, imagine ten hours. Oh. Oh, that'd be so good now, Alice. I'm so jealous. Amazing. <laughs> I'm glad you like Chunderweish. <laughs> There's been a few naysayers of Chunderweish. I'm glad you're not one of them. <laughs> Stan Firm's doing the job here. And alright, Moradon. Outrageous. Ooh. It's gonna be amazing, guys! Sh should he have sidestepped to here? Maybe. I think maybe he should have gone to here. Because this is very much relying on not getting powered here. In fact, he's just gone straight in for the blitz. Yeah, that clears him guaranteed. Fair enough. Don't know how he's going to score here. He's in a bit of a pickle. I guess he's just got to hope that something happens. <laughs> just hope that something happens. Maybe get some bang outs. Armour 8 though, that mummy. But the other one's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, Bludge Firm. Bludge Firm Guard is an incredible mummy. Doesn't follow. I don't know why. Misclick maybe, run out of time. Either of those are valid excuses. <laughs> no, maybe he had an idea. Oh, Do you do private booths? <laughs> Yeah, no one cares. Literally, literally no one will care, Dietrich. And you know, if if Artemis, uh, if Artemis slates you, then who even cares? <laughs> but yeah, if you stole on turn eight, it might take longer to live that down. But even then, if it hadn't been dead or Chunter, then it'd be less, less memorable, wouldn't it? Exactly, I, I don't understand anybody getting upset about that. 
So he can block there, blitz there, and oh, he's got, he's got, oh, he's got, he even got tackle. But this is a better direction. No, the other side. Can break, break through here with blocks. Actually, this was this was safe, wasn't it? He could have just blocked and blocked, and then got through that way for sure. <laughs> okay. The John is not good, Bob. Well, I mean, Wolfbark's one of the best, and he did it, didn't he? Thought he thought he had diamond tackle on the guy. Didn't. Who is Kalon the, the the equivalent of? I don't know. Maybe the guy who does the golf. <laughs> this is a good defense, wasn't it, by the birds here down players? We managed to uh Keep the undead at bay. Wogan on Eurovision, that's pretty good, yeah. That's pretty good. Oh, the Dublé skulls. <laughs> I'll bring it. <laughs> um, don't worry, I'm, I'm only half paying attention. I've had hardly any sleep. Which for me is a lot. Wait, doesn't the size step to there? Why didn't he sidestep to like go near the ball? Oh, because he's, he's, I guess it's turn seven, yeah. Alright, it's turn seven, he doesn't have to. Well, maybe he does. Oh, he got a reroll, he hasn't got a reroll. <laughs> Diced. Potato, let's go. Oh, wow, goes for the potato. Um, oof. Is there a scoring threat? Well, not really, because you can bang him out. Oh, okay. I think the one D is probably worth it there. Is this guy even in range? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's not even in range. So, yeah, he might as well take all that. T A Y T O. Oh my god. <laughs> <That was, laughs> speaking of strippers, <laughs> no aliens. That was, Artemis, as you can imagine, was watching a, was watching a stripper on uh, on Twitch. Uh, well, she wasn't obviously a stripper. She was uh, she <laughs> she wasn't the prettiest lady you've ever seen or the fittest lady you've ever seen, and her house was an absolute fucking tip. <laughs> and then <laughs> And she said that she was a stripper, and, uh, and then <laughs> somebody in the chat said <laughs> they probably pay her to put her clothes on, <laughs> or, or, or rather than throwing money at her, they throw clothes at her, and that's why her house is covered in clothes. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Which was a great, a great way to explain why why there were clothes strewn everywhere in the house. Hello, Moradam. Hello, Jim. What a story to jump in on. Huh? Holy shit. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Uh, also, the birds can score here, Jim. They had an extra turn. They had an extra turn. Oh, yeah, they had an extra okay. turn! Yeah, they're on defense. I was like, Jim, they, it's turn seven for them. They, of course oh, they can God. score. Oh well, he should. The only reason I jumped in here, I was like, "What the fuck is Jim talking about?" <laughs> I'm a little bit tired. Maybe. Bit. Nobody knows. Um, yeah, thanks. Thanks for that clarification of like. To, uh, we were talking about stalling on turn eight as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Look at this. We've got a literal goblin in the book. Amazing. <laughs> 
I'm surprised <sighs> he didn't try to hit the ball here, like at all. Yeah. Like it's an uphill, but like you still go for he it. He probably right? wanted to do because he wanted to do this foul because that is a hell of a goal. Isn't oh it? yeah, yeah, that's true. Oh, bangs him oh, out! Oh my god! Kills him. Good God Almighty. Yeah. Good God Almighty. Holy shit. Never mind, it was the best play. It was how, a pretty how good How could play, I possibly yeah. not suggest the foul one step? I know, right? A fucking goblin coach as well. Holy shit. I know. <laughs> Calling for hits on the ball. and Yeah, he didn't regen, did he? The ghoul didn't regen. Diced. <laughs> oh, both kills fit. fail. The uh, birds are looking really good now, actually, aren't they? Apart from the numbers, yeah, only yeah. nine players and a much worse quality, right? Because it's not yeah, only their down players. Ten. Yeah, but it's 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 not the not numbers, it's the fact they've got shithead peasants. Yeah. And like peasants yeah. are so terrible. They've only got they've lost three three of their good players and two men down. It's But they stopped the score. They did right? stop like, the score and the the ghoul the wonder ghoul is down. So For having a much shitter team, I feel like Bringer has not played as well. Like, there's yeah. a lot of times, I think, especially early on, he could have got some space and just didn't. Yeah. But his team isn't that good. Like, it's lacking guard, isn't it? There's no guard on the whites. So there's, he's only got guard yeah. on the mummies. It's not, like, a great team at all. No, but, I mean, it's still better than the, the birds. Yeah, the birds is shit. <laughs> and he's got banged out as well. <laughs> first ever chalice game. It might be tacky on the speeds. First ever chalice game as well. Because Bringer never made it to Chalice before. That's what he says. He's got a blitz though. Look oh, a dog. Oh. GG. I was gonna say that, you know, Tachyon might have a good shot if he can if he can get a removal or two here on the LOS <laughs> and get the numbers up. But uh instead he's probably just gonna get banged up more. Yeah, he's just he's gonna yeah, he's just gonna get all mansed and mighty blowed and fucked. <laughs> he might get a removal on the LOS. <laughs> just <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not in his favour. Yeah, yeah just, a stun. just a stun. Has to reinforce this one. I guess he can bring around the ghoul here. Ooh, getting a bit too rowdy for my tastes. Like I guess it's it's not that, but is it's a four three out though? I wouldn't. I, I don't really like leaving something as good as a four three out. Though. Having him around here is pretty good though. To stop, like, you know, make this a four three out this way as well. I, th I think split. pushing that zombie to where he pushed it was a mistake, right? I'm now it's not watching. a four three out. He pushed it behind the mummy. Uh, yeah. No. Well, now he's just fucked, isn't he? And he blitzed him there. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what his plan is apart from just to lose in a few turns time. <laughs> Maybe he four threes out dodging back. So they go on forward. I don't like it as much. Yeah. But then you could have pushed him you could have pushed him to stop that, right? You could have just pushed him to here. And give himself yeah. a three out. Oh yeah, I could just give himself three out. Yeah, I don't know. That was seemed like a shit play. Yeah, it does it does. I mean he was in a horrible spot, but it seems like he's played a shit turn. Yeah. And yeah. that's probably that's probably gonna cost him the match. I'd, I'd be curious if we were seeing this live, how much he thought about that turn, or if he just didn't take his time. Yeah, yeah, that's one of the things you don't get, do you, in the replays like that? That thing of of how long people take and like tension and stuff. There's not so much tension, is there? Because things just just happen instantly in that. Like the uh, it would have been really interesting to see the the tree versus Mad Jake match live, because that uh, you could imagine them, you know. Taking time and like things happening. Oh, it, I mean, they take too long actually. Now, I was, uh, that was yeah. a terrible example. It's terrible. Yeah, terrible I was gonna example. say I watched that game, Jim, and uh, that was they took a lot of time. Yeah, no, that was a terrible example. But uh, you know, like if they didn't take quite as long, it'd be interesting to see, you know, like which turns took longer and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Like things like that. But yeah, yeah. terrible. Obviously, if they both take max time every turn, then that that doesn't apply. <laughs> <laughs> if they both just take max time every single turn. This ghoul comes through here now, right? And that's amazing. Yeah. Uh, no. No. 
the school had to go like here or here or some somewhere like here, right? Somewhere yeah. one of these two squares to completely seal everything off. Yeah, he's just doing like, nothing here. Yeah, because no one's going out that way. Like only the ball can get there and you just sack it with the ball anyway. Yeah. After getting blitz, I think I honestly would have tried to get that uh sidestep dodge guard piece. The the four three out. Just yeah. get him down down downfield. And then just hope. Yeah. You know. Go even for a two turn score. Like you're in a shit position. You're down players, you've got some KOs. You got blitzed on, you know. Score quick and hope you can stop them again. Don't, yeah. like, th th I don't see you winning in the position he's put himself in now. No. No, no, I think I, I agree. I think that was that was the play, and then because you might get your players back as well. Yeah, yeah. So now this guy just comes back again. First move, safe moves first. Bring him back. <laughs> I'll blitz with him. GFI blitz. I don't like that. No, I hate this. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna foul the. No. <laughs> I'm getting getting behind the dodge player is a terrible move. <laughs> yeah, Just I quietly. Feel like, I feel like there's. I mean, it's probably a lot of dice, but I feel like a breakaway, and getting a field is possible. Like, look how far forward the zombies and the mummies are. Yeah, yeah, it's the like, thing. Getting. Get the fuck off, huh? Yeah, like just letting him get behind you when he's got hardly any players is not good, is it? And like this guy's got the three plus out now with dodge. Like this was a super. This was super bad. This. Oh, just the push was was really unfortunate there. Mm. I'm not even sure I like that. I think I maybe just do the blitz with the with this guy right, the one D with a blitzer, and then go yeah. there. Then he can block, and then he can dodge out and get downfield as well. Oh wow. And, oh, like, you mean you have to do it? Yeah. Where he was wasn't going to be good enough. Hello, store baby. Well, you've obviously got a fish for the pal. Yeah, haven't you? See what happens. The zombie. Cheeky zombie block. Nope. Oh, just a flush. Oh god, and a dodge. Oh, yeah. Not what I would have done. Oh, oh god, baby. <laughs> Brutal. Brutal. Take it back, Tachyon's the greatest Birch player of all time. Um, clearly knows what he's doing. Bert, 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 Bert. Bert's gonna Bert. Oh yeah! <laughs> and then you won in nine. Uh, so no, Another one in nine. Dinta shit. Dinta dead. <laughs> oh, that was terrible play. What a what a what a mistake. Oh man. Yeah. Absolutely, should oh. give, him, give him an extra zombie. Absolute terrible play. Oh, tragedy. That was... That he, hadn't, was... he hadn't blitzed yet either, had he? No, I mean, to be fair, there wasn't much he could do. Is there? I guess you're going to blitz no. with this guy. He's going to uphill blitz and then dodge out. Uphill blitz him. Maybe, so that if he only wrestles, so you just uphill blitz him and then dodge to there if you get a push. Yeah. And then like one in nine dodge with a wrestler. Oh, oh! oh no sinking tackle. the reroll into it. I don't know about that. You got to, aren't you? Nil, nil. I don't know, but like, I, I like if you get the knockdown, it's good. But it's like what a thirty percent? You've got to, because you just lose if you don't. That's true. <laughs> like, <laughs> imagine you won a nine there, and you, then it's super easy for him to just score. 
but it's now yeah, that that's good the GFA is there, but still it's still super easy, isn't it? It's uh it's an uphill and a three plus or it's a four oh, it's a four three. three. Yeah. That's not hard at all. Alright, good. I thought he was gonna try to hit that sidestep and make it really easy for him. <laughs> is the four three here actually just just better than the uphill? Well um... did it anyway. It's probably worse overall, but better chance of conserving rerolls, right? So, yeah, you'd have to factor in the match equity into the decision rather than yeah. what actually just gives the highest odds of scoring. I'm sure the uphill gives the highest odds of scoring. Yeah, with one reroll left, it probably was smart just to do the dodge because you still have to you have to defend, right? Yeah. Against a four turn, yeah, four turn. Yeah. So I think, I think. The uphill definitely has the higher percentage chance of scoring, but I do think the dodge is the correct play. Oh, he's getting fucking screwed on these KO rolls. Yeah, yep, yeah, zero out of four. Eight players. This is a full 11. I'm not going to hit anybody, Bringer. I can hit the players without hitting the person. <laughs> I can hate both Bringers, so don't worry. I'll hate you <laughs> twice as much to make it for Jim's lack of hate. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> I'm not Artemis. I, I'm okay with watching bad play. <laughs> Yeah, I thrive off of hate, so I'm also okay with it. So. <laughs> like I don't know, I it's you know I don't expect I don't expect everyone who's playing to be better than Core, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. So it's fine. If they are playing to be better than Core, they're really failing. It's good fucking luck. <laughs> yeah, that seems to be the standard that Artemis holds people to though when he's casting. Like, I do point out slightly suboptimal things sometimes, but only because it's the only it's a point of interest, rather than... Oh, God. That's terrible! <laughs> that was a pretty good cast. Yeah, the, the Raya is brutal as well. This yeah. doesn't have to rush as much. Five turns is way easier than four to score. Yeah. I kind of hate this Blitz, by the way, this Mighty Blow Dot Blodger. Like, he's your best guy for scoring. And just like blitzing with him. Okay, he gets yeah. a Kaz. But he, <laughs> he gets a Kaz, though. He, he could have just stood in the LOS, right? And banged on the yeah. LOS. I actually, I agree. I actually would have not hit with both mummies on the LOS. I would have hit with maybe one. Tried to get, I would have set up so that the other one could get downfield. Because you're assuming you have four turns. They're hard to to move. Yeah. That's what I would have done. But on the other hand, you know, you just kill three of their players. Yeah, and, um, yeah just, make, <laughs> just make three removals is much better. You make three removals and get a riot. <laughs> I mean, that was definitely the best play. <laughs> what a play, guys. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well. Oh, God. G fucking G. I assume the next reroll is going to be handing it off to this white to level him. <laughs> no, he's already leveled. Um. Vanity pass, maybe? Yeah, vanity. I, I'm going to think of a reroll that I'd hate at this point that could possibly matter. Yeah. Well, he's going to score now, and then it's going to be an overtime, isn't it? So. Oh yeah, good point. It was one zero. So maybe, maybe this guy gets a Kaz, and then no, I guess he can't level him. I don't understand what. Yeah, I kept thinking that this was like a. A sure done game, but honestly, if it goes to overtime and and the Bretts win the the flip and they get their KOs back, oh, they're still they fucked. Score. I mean, they're still <laughs> fucked. They're probably fucked, right? But like a, the, a good kickoff event, a two turn score with Bertz isn't impossible. It's not great. Yeah, true. But... It's really hard though against strength five holding the wings. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> But I mean, he scored. He scored this half, right? He did. He was, yeah. he was down players. He did. He's down a lot more players now. But and uh, now there's no tackle at all. 
Yeah. Wow, that's yeah, I hate this Venger bus. I actually hate the Venger bus here. Because there's just no need, is there? You need penetration. Like, even though you've only you've got three more turns. Like, they can get in your way a little bit with sidestep, I think. I think this is somewhat needless. I think with that that last zombie they just moved, I think I actually would have tagged that that peasant right there, that dirty player peasant. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I also wouldn't have moved the dirty player peasant. I think what I would have done, I would have hit something and tried to follow it at this point. <laughs> try, try, try to get some kind of player. Uh, there's nothing you can do though because he's he's got reserves and like. He's got oh, regen, yeah. it's like, it's so bad. Like, it's, well, it's not bad, it's so unlikely to be a high roll fouling unless you get a foul on mummy and you ain't knocking a mummy over, so. <laughs> yeah, the, play, the player you really want to foul are, are too protected right now, anyway. Yeah, you yeah. don't want to foul like the skeleton or zombie. No, you've only, like, he hasn't got any players left, has he? He's got the ball carrier <laughs> and the a blodge guy and then two strength fives that you can't possibly knock over. I mean, there's, there's not really much you can do as the birds. Maybe just run and hide was the play. To hope you don't lose more plays. I don't know. Maybe, I guess maybe like this is a weird move again, so maybe you can stop him. Yeah, moving backwards. Yeah, See, moving backwards on turn 14. That riot's maybe safe, I, bring it here. Yeah, I, I yell at Elliot about this all the time as well, being like, well, I still got two turns to score. I'm like, yeah, but... You, you could, you know, put yourself in a position where you don't have to move your max movement two turns in a row. <laughs> like, yeah. come on. Yeah, moving back is pretty good. Especially against this few players. Like, there's so few birds, how have you not gained ground? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Feels weird. Yeah, I feel like you should be up here now. <laughs> And, and it's important as well with Undead, because okay, the ghouls move seven, but the zombies are only move four, so like they can't they can't yeah. come with him. That's why it is important to get four. Like it's obviously it's obviously important with dwarves, but it's pretty important with Undead as well, just because the zombies are so slow. And he's only got one ghoul now as well, hasn't he? The two ghouls are out, so Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could have gone around, Bringer. He's, <laughs> he's got one blood stepper and, <laughs> and five players. Oh my god, this re this GFI. I mean, obviously you've got to re-roll it. I don't know why you'd think I'd hit that re-roll. I mean, I hit the play. <laughs> I hit the play of not just moving the ghoul first. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's right. Pretty if, he doubles, if he had doubled there, it would have been game over. Yeah. Double one there. Yeah. Yeah, obviously I don't hate the reroll. The reroll's essential. Yeah. What's... I hate that you had to do the reroll or you lose. Yes. You yeah. Could have just not. Had to hit but... this peasant, right? Had to hit the peasant and free up this this move. This is irrelevant. See, here's my biggest criticism, Bringer. Just fucking base them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he's, he's you could have done that two turns ago. You could have based every single one of his players <laughs> and had like six of your players still free. Yeah. And you wouldn't be. He wouldn't even have a defense. Yeah, he'd knock over a zombie or a, or a white, but who gives a shit? Yeah. You'd be, you'd be up the field with the ball. You know, this is Chalice. You gotta, you gotta maximize your chance of winning. I think he just sucks. Eats the re don't eat. Don't okay. Good. Like, do yeah. not re-roll that. You do, you don't need to care about blood step and don't need to care about losing the ball as much as you have done. <laughs> yeah, he's got no one who can take the ball. No one who's gonna dodge in and hit it. On a six plus. <laughs> Oh. I guess the no rerolls is interesting, right? The no rerolls means that it's not completely over if the birds win the toss. Yep. 
but they need to win the toss and they need those KOs back to have any chance. Yep. And they get one. The shittest one. Yep. And they lose the toss as well. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. That guy was yeah, out for the entire it's... game. That, that guy who exposed himself turn one has, has been out for the entire game after the KO. Which is deserved, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm short of like a, an extreme kickoff event, like a like a blitz after not setting up to prevent the blitz. Yes, the game's over. Yes, yeah, setting up to counter blitz is much more important than setting up three dice with your block moves. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, that's, that's why I specified that part because I was like, <laughs> and Alice is setting up. All right. Okay, he's 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 recovered. He's trying to set up three in the wide zone. So there we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <coughs> I do like this setup a lot better though than the all man's who gives a shit setup of why are you all man's? Yes. He'll get there in the end. Yeah. I would have kind of mini elf screened with the. Uh, I would have put the, the zombies next to each other. I think. Yeah, yeah I mean, this is good enough. Then at least at least he's it identified the only way he can not win, <laughs> and has taken yeah. steps to uh, counter it, which yeah, is better sure. than some chalice winners do. <laughs> you no know rerolls though it means you have to protect the ball before you try to pick it up because it's three plus. Yeah. Sure hands. Yeah, I'd have got further in front. I'd have put them both one in front, well, one there and one there, and then move these guys up as well before making. Definitely not make a blockless block. Oh no, it's wrestle. Let's wrestle. Yeah. A block. It was still a blockless block. Tag this guy. Tag this guy. Yep. Tag, Tag this guy. <laughs> I think that's one of the things I see. There's like the big difference between chunter level and you know, core level coaches is that when you have the man advantage, like the, the goal isn't to just have a man advantage. The, the goal is to have a man, a man advantage so you can oppress your opponent. But if you leave a bunch of their guys unmarked, you're not really pressing that advantage. You're not getting your money's worth out of rules removals. Yeah. Double GFI. <laughs> oh, that'd be a bit spicy. For me. <laughs> but it's okay here. He, like he did, he did have most of them based up that were on the ground at least. But... Yeah, I mean it's hard not to when they've got f they've got six yeah, players. Six players. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ooh. Spicy. Can you surf him? No, probably not. Can three dice him though. So. Three dice him and move to the middle. Diced. Doesn't pick the pow. Terrible. <laughs> Isn't it right? Like I know it's push pow, but if you don't give your opponent the chance to misclick, <laughs> it's just suboptimal. One in every thousand times they'll misclick. That's a point one percent chance that you didn't take. Exactly, equity left on the table. <laughs> Also, it's just a bad habit to get into because what if you're wrong as well, right? And you think they've got dodge and they don't. Oh yeah, it happens a lot. Mm -hmm. it, like it happens a lot of times where people just they pick the push instead when I'm playing goblin. I'm just like, okay, mm -hmm. well you had tackle. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> all right, guess uh, guess I'll just get pushed. <laughs> Big push to save precious seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Well, just be aware that it's not optimal and you are leaving slivers of equity on the table. <laughs> I 
they must be right though, Jim, because they're ma- they're maximizing their time spent not playing Blood Bowl. True, Blood true. Bowl. Yes, okay. It's the optimal life decision, just not the optimal decision for winning games of Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he hasn't blitzed yet. I was about to be like, what the fuck? Mm, yeah, yeah. This is, this is good, doesn't it? Do all the safe moves before you do the blitz. Yeah, yeah. I was just like, why is he in a based cage? <laughs> What's going <laughs> on? But no, that, that makes sense. Wow, what a scumbag team on Taylor. I mean, that is also the optimal thing to do as well, isn't it? So there you go. That is, there is optimal blood ball. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, that's uh, that's next level. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind when I'm playing faulty tonight. <laughs> well, glorious! When are you playing faulty? Uh, in two hours and fifteen minutes. No oh, baby. Yeah, goblins versus dwarves. What a what a time to be alive. <laughs> I'm sure it. my team won't be completely deleted after this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just hoping mine. Like I had fucking lizards, and I was hoping my team wasn't deleted against you. What a joke! <laughs> and it nearly did. Lost my move up guy. That was like a month ago. I know. I still. I have that clip saved though. Every once in a while, I bring it up and just laugh at it again. <laughs> Stupid fucking double interception into bombs spike in the ground. <laughs> Um, on a scale of me to Chunter, oh, way worse than Chunter, Bringer. Um, you know, way worse than Chunter, but uh, <laughs> better than some people in Chalice, I guess, probably. <laughs> Certainly rolled more like Chunter yeah. than rolled like me. I mean, this is de this is some Chunter rolling for sure. That's pretty ridiculous. Three deaths, with seven cars. I mean, I don't think I've ever done seven cars. In Blood Bowl 2, it feels like. <laughs> I, I definitely have. I have definitely cast seven of my own players in the game. <laughs> I just mean definitely. Especially in Blood Bowl 3. I've, I've cast four of my own players in one turn in Blood Bowl 3. Nice. Tabletop, it was, uh, oh, not, the, not the word I used. <laughs> in, uh, in Fumble, my Nurgle team Average seven cas when when they won Crown of Sand like over the tournament they averaged seven cas a game <laughs> like over oh, five or six games. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. And then in, it's ridiculous, isn't it? And then and then Blood Bowl two, I can't bang my way out of a paper bag. It's terrible. <laughs> I just don't know why. I don't know why I can't beat anybody up. It's tragic. I I was literally the, like the most the most killy coach on Fumble like by a mile as well. No one was even close. Like, they had a black box bash rating that, like, had, you know, like, how many cars and stuff you caused. And mine was, like, it was over Studman. Studman, like, just trolled and, like, fouled every turn and stuff and, like, just didn't even try to win half the games, like, pile on with a ball carrier and stuff. And just did all this mental stuff. And mine was higher than he could ever get. It was ridiculous. Like, it was ridiculous how bangy I was on Fumble. And then, and then now I just can't. I just can't. That's insane. I don't know. Very, I'm very sad. Don't worry. I, I wish I, I wish I could be more like Mr. Page. <laughs> he manages to kill everyone, doesn't he? Yeah, Page does, doesn't he? He really does just kill. Like, I don't understand. Like, I've watched a lot of his games, and I'm just like, how? Yeah. How the fuck? Where's these dice when I'm playing? <laughs> yeah. I might watch some of his vods and see if, like, you know, see how he plays. You know, like maybe he does like, you know, obviously he does definitely sacrifice position to get more hits and stuff. Like I guess he has to. I mean, maybe he's not to get hits, but he certainly sacrifices position. But maybe his sacrificing a position gets him more hits and stuff. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Better get him more hits, because otherwise, why the fuck he's sacrificing position? Well, just because he's bad. <laughs> oh, that's, that's what I mean. <laughs> breaks to eight <laughs> three deaths 20 yeah. armor breaks and three of them were deaths that is it's pretty brutal isn't it seven of them were cars eight cars sustained so eight cars from 20 of e breaks that's that's really really good yeah, yeah. for I mean, for bringer it's really good. yeah absolute dyson 
So there you go. Um, congrats, Bringer. Commiserations, tacky on speed. Thank you very much, Moradam, for joining me in the booth. Absolutely glorious. Yeah. Figured somebody should. Way. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.